Next up, running back 14, Aaron Jones. Uh, Aaron- Jason, before we get going, how is your Aaron Jones experience last year? This is the first time you ever had him on a team. Uh, how, how, how did you like having Aaron Jones on your team? Uh, it was frustrating because I felt like LaFleur didn't use him as much as he should because I felt that especially for the first eight weeks of the season, eight to 10, that he was by far the most electric player on that offense because Christian Watson was hurt. Um, and they would inexplicably take him out inside the 20, inexplicably AJ Dillon's in inexplicably they're trying to do like stupid end around shit that didn't work because it wasn't with Christian Watson, obviously like they had no other receivers. They had no other production. Fucking Dobbs did not work at all. Like had him in a couple leagues too. Um, Aaron Jones was fantastic when he was given the opportunities. The guy only had 213 carries and had more than 1100 rushing yards like he had three more carries than joe mixon had 300 yards more with those three more carries that's it it's just the dude didn't get in the end zone he had two rushing touchdowns the whole freaking season he got sniped repeatedly the packers sucked last year in general in terms of just putting up big numbers. Aaron Rodgers was talking about figuring out the offense and trying to be consistent, talking about being young all year. And it just, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun to be a Packers fan. It was fun to root for Aaron Jones because like you would watch the tape and there were times when he was just so obviously the best player on the field and they just weren't giving him the opportunities that he deserved. I know Rodgers was frustrated with it. I think everyone's still going to be frustrated with it this year. I think LaFleur and the Packers are still going to hide behind two running backs, trotting Love out there, at least for the first few weeks, the first month. Uh, I, I think Love is shifty enough to take some ground production away from the running backs. Like, I think he has to regress a little bit back towards the mean and, and fall into the end zone a few more times. I'm... I'm not worried about the rushing production changing in terms of the, the carries amount. I don't think goes more than like 20 carries plus or minus in either direction. I think the yards, I think he's finishes over a thousand, the touchdowns I'm projecting for five to six, but the receptions where I think he goes down like Rogers used Aaron Jones as his safety valve when he was on the season. I don't know if Jordan Love's going to do that. I don't know if Jordan Love is going to try and take off or I don't know if Aaron or if uh, Jordan Love is going to try and chuck it up and throw an interception because he led the FBS in interceptions the year that he came out of college. Like, I don't know a ton of stuff about that offense other than Aaron Rodgers is gone. So it's worse. And so I was frustrated often with Aaron Jones. So I'm probably not going to draft Aaron Jones. Um, I had him at running back 15 because he's there as a top 15 running back on talent alone. He's just, why are they giving, like there were times and I'm just ranting. There were times. I know. I'm really enjoying this. This is great. Well, there were freaking, this is why, this is why I brought it up because I know you still have pent up frustration. There were times that they would give freaking AJ Dillon the ball and he just looked bad. He looked big and slow and bad. Like, yes, he could absolutely bully some people and be an absolute Sounds bulldozer like playing at times. Basketball. But like, I would take Aaron Jones on a creative play to get him in space on the outside over AJ Dillon rumbling up the middle all day, every day. And they just freaking didn't do it. So, yeah, sorry. Do, do you tell do me you feel, what you think about it? Do, do you feel better now? Not really. Aaron Jones got a big Green Bay Packers tattoo, though. So there you go. He's all oh, in. Okay. So the last couple of years, because I, I, I had him a couple of years ago. I think I had him on a team last year, too. He'll, like, go off one week, usually against the Lions. And then the rest of the season, he'll just be middling. 
Yeah. Two two years ago, he finished as, as RB12. Last year, he finished as as a disappointing RB9. Like, like if, you, if I would have told you he finished in the top 10, you would be surprised by that because he was like more nickeling and diming you. And he had his big week and, and that was it. And it's, it's really hard to, to rank him higher than this just because of the uncertainty of the offense. Yeah. Like, like the first three weeks are the perfect Aaron Jones, like 11 points, 32 points, less than five points. Like it was just oscillations the entire season. He had, uh, I mean, more than a couple single digit weeks. Um, He was strong in the fantasy playoffs for me, which was nice. Uh, well, I guess that's not completely true. He dropped a five point burger in week 16 and that's when I lost. So (laughs) he was, he was strong in the first round when I dropped, when he dropped 20, but he had what one, two, one, two, three, four. I mean, like he had about five or six single digit weeks. Yeah, that's, that's tough to have as your RB1. Who you, who you can't not take, like, you can't not play him. Yeah. O- only thing I would note, and, and this is on ESPN.com's player write-up, he had two carries inside the five-yard line last year. Yeah. And that's just really hard to win unless you're going to break off these, these eight-yard touchdown runs, 15-yard touchdown runs. And in that offense where they're going to let Jordan Love make Jordan Love beat them and and really crowd the line, you would expect? They're going to crowd the line. He's 28 this year, and there's no Aaron Rodgers. He was a third of his games. He finished in single-digit points. I'm out. So so I, I would just say, you know, Joe Mixon is currently going one spot behind Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is also Mixon, going around. I would jump and on for, top of Mixon. Yeah. So between the two, I think it's very clear cut uh, who who to take. Um, I would actually not be surprised if we end up dropping Aaron Jones uh, a little bit further in our rankings as we get closer to the season starting.